She says they sh that they shot her dog, but police are saying it wasn't out of cold blood. This incident happened at home on Alamo Street. 12 News reporter William Blanchett talked to neighbors who say they saw the whole thing. Well, uh, Kelsey neighbors are not happy. They tell me the officer's decision to shoot and kill the dog was unnecessary. Vider Police Chief Rod Carroll tells me the initial call at the address was for an aggressive animal. They're not harmful. They've never bit anybody. I mean, ever. Tina Potter is still trying to understand why her four-year-old Brendel Pitbull was shot and killed by a Vider police officer. She says the dog named Spike was her 11-year-old son's service dog. The cell phone video taken by a neighbor shows the aftermath of Sunday's shooting off Alamo Street. Potter says she left her home around 11.30 Sunday morning. Her two dogs were in the backyard, but when she got back, they were gone. All that was left was this note from Animal Control. The neighbors all run over and tell me that our dogs aren't here. The guy tells us that the cops shot our dogs. I heard a gunshot. It drew me out of the house. Eric Eves, who lives just two doors down, says he engaged with the officer moments before the second shot. I asked if she was okay. She said yes. She indicated that possibly her arm uh, might have been scratched or something. Eve says the officer was not on the property when the gun was fired. They still were back far enough that they weren't charging or being more aggressive than barking. It's not the same scenario that Vider police are saying. Chief Rod Carroll says his officer was at the home because they got a call about an aggressive animal. He says the dog bit his officer who had to be treated at a local medical facility. Potter says she hopes something is done about her dog's death. They literally could have just tranked him, you know. They could have tranked that dog. Now, Vider Police Chief Ron Carroll says they're still reviewing reports and videos of the incident. William Blanchett, 12 News. William, thank you.